Sabina. Sabina is leaving us today, and this afternoon Wendy's going too. Stephen, oh, <laughs> see you in the spring. Is that it? Yes. Bye. See you in the spring. Baby. I'd forgotten about Wendy's biscuits, and I think this is going to help take some of the pain of today's departures away. Do you think it will help with the pain of? Yeah. Feed the inner man. Ah. Oh, okay, I'm going to feed the inner man as well. My inner, inner man needs feeding. Yeah. Chin Merry chin. Christmas. By the way, have you noticed? Do you remember how perfectly tidy that was at the bottom shelf there yesterday? Yes. What? Look at that. There was dun 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 a party last night, wasn't there? I went to bed. You were the party animal, Wendy. Playing <laughs> articulate. Look who I see. I'm Mrs. Oh, 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 Mrs. Oh, 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 Mm. Yes, yes, oh. they're they bonded already. No, yeah. no, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it's, no, it's instantaneous. No. Yeah. Oh. It has been absolutely lovely having you here. I'd like to come back if you have me. Oh, we'll have you, <laughs> definitely. Oh, you look very curious. You're just keeping an eye on things. Yeah. Look, no. The wind. Oh, no, it's Kirsty. High speed, Kirsty. I was going to say, I'm looking at the near dwells. <laughs> <laughs> Kirsty drives by. She's not a near dwell. Davey looking absolutely bedraggled. Oh, going a lot slower than Kirsty, it must be said. It's still morning, Tonton Stephen. Is that big enough? It's it's reasonable. I can just about hold it at Paul. How long is that going to last? How long is a bit of string? <laughs> Does Molly enjoy a Ricard? No. Oh. I haven't been filming the restoration of the chapel up until this point because the people working on it were a bit too shy to be filmed. But um, this group have just told me that they're absolutely fine to be filmed. So, great! Et bonjour! Bonjour! Est-ce que tout se passe bien très ici? Très bien, très bien. Alors, où, où êtes-vous? Alors là, on, on va déposer le, la, la statue, là. Oh, ah, ça fait peur! <laughs> Alors, il y a deux statues qui sont déjà parties et c'est voilà, la dernière qui, ça, qui vient. C'est ça. Ah, mais je vais regarder. Et voilà. Et pour le reste, ça s'est bien passé. Les joints très sont bien. transformés, je le vois oui, d'ici. Oui, très bien. Euh, même le lavage. Euh... Je vois une grande voilà. différence. Okay, we're just staring at the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to reveal the newly cleaned chapel. Da, da, da. It's just. Amazing. I mean, obviously, it's quite hard to see with all the scaffolding in the way, but just look at the joints. It's so clean and perfect. The entire colour of the chapel has changed. It's extraordinary. And now the first two statues have been taken down for cleaning, actually. And Saint Joseph is about to be moved and I'm absolutely terrified. The symbol of this chapel and certainly the patron saint of the Chateau de la Lande. And the extraordinary thing is my grandmother, my French grandmother, was very, very religious and her favourite saint was Saint Joseph. She always had a statue of him. So it just seemed right when I came to La Lande and realised that it was a chapel of Saint Joseph here. Whilst they're delicately working out how to lift Saint Joseph, I'm going to show you these beautiful angels that we can see face to face for the first time. They're down here for cleaning. They are just beautiful. They're a perfect example of Victorian styling. You can see the tiny little mouth and the big eyes and the oval shaped face that you see in so much Victorian art. I can't believe this is happening. I have to pinch myself. And here you can see that they've completely protected the death of St. Joseph scene because the people who are going to be doing the restoration of the paintwork have paid a visit to let them know how they'd like it protected in the meantime until they get here. And just up through the scaffolding, you can see that all of the stained glass windows have been protected so that they can't be damaged during the building work. I have to say, the LED lighting they put up is kind of festive. I mean, it's feeling Christmassy in here. On est en train de voir parce que le problème, c'est qu'il y a, comme il y a la, la petite coupole dessous, là. Oui, ça bloque. Après, on n'a pas beaucoup de marge. It's not looking good for moving Saint Joseph. Because of the little decorative arch above him, 
they can't lift him enough. It's blocking the way. So it's hard to know whether he's going to be able to come out. And he has to come out because they have to fix this stone, the keystone in the door. You can see it slipped. And that's one of the things that's going to be done on the facade. That's going to be repaired. Now we all just need to keep our fingers crossed. Oh, we have movement. You can't see, but he's actually moving like a millimetre at a time. No, they're letting it down again because he knows that he's holding a flower, I think a lily, and they are very worried that that is pushing too hard on the flower that he's holding. And if they're not careful, it could snap. So they're moving it a little lower so that there's no pressure on that lily. Okay, taste him. Inching up so slowly. Well, Saint Joseph is now suspended. I'm glad my mother's not here. She would be absolutely terrified right now. It's such a symbol of all of La Land. And it's particularly poignant seeing him cradling the infant Jesus because this chapel was built in memory of a young boy, Charles, who died drowned in the moat at the age of only five. And I'm sure that as his parents commissioned this statue, they were imagining St. Joseph also cradling their child. Well, that's the first time the interior of the statue of St. Joseph has been seen since 1866. They're doing this incredibly painstakingly. Just one millimetre at a time. They're hoping that there's enough space inside the little arch above St. Joseph to be able to fit him and his halo and still be able to shift the statue out to the front at the base. They're going to have a pause, think about it and try again after lunch. Ooh, Philip and Marie are back from their quality time, dropping off Sabina and picking up the shopping. It's like shopping with a toddler, isn't it? Yeah, he is like... You shouldn't shop when you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, you, turn, you get to the checkout and you're like, what is that doing in the shop? <laughs> <laughs> he looks really happy. <laughs> <laughs> the meringue? Oh, oh, can't you remember the thing Marie can't eat anything that has no in it. You I was going to say, you can't eat meringue. I'm allergic. You can't eat meringue. He's allergic to meringue. I'm allergic to meringue. That's so sweet. I thought you wanted for everybody. The injustice. We need to eat your dog. And brioche for Tatinette. Yeah. And you got sushi for me, Marie. Yeah. Oh, little treats for everyone. It's a little bookmark, which was an experiment, so I might make some more. Really cute. That's good. Imagine that on a coffee table book, like yeah. a beautiful yeah. coffee table book. And that's a little brooch. Oh, the little brooch that we saw when you were yes. making them. And just some little basic oh, sachets for the drawer. Little and this is for Pavlina. That's for Pavlina. So Pavlina, if you're watching, just saying, first gift under the you, tree. You did yellow and blue. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. I think you're being too modest because you haven't mentioned that you also sell your creations on Etsy. Yes. So your Etsy shop is Wendy House 50 Shop. That's it. Wendy House 50 Shop. Put it on the screen otherwise. Yeah, because your creations are so gorgeous and they make us happy every single yes. time we see them around the chateau. All the time. I love it's the way of... that you've put the chapel, the chapel just yes. at the base. Thank you. Reminding us of what it looks like when there's no scaffolding <laughs> on it. And Maria in the middle. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Ruling over us all. In her absence. Thanks, Wendy. We're going to miss you, Wendy. Have a safe journey and a lovely Christmas. And you. Okay. No trouble. <laughs> bye bye. Safe, safe journey. Bye. Beep, 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 beep. Vous avez réussi. Oh, merveilleux. <laughs> Whiskey. On en a plein. <laughs> Et il est tout en un morceau. Oui. <rire> Félicitations. Merci. Comment avez-vous réussi ah, Grâce à... Ah, Saint Joseph. <rire> My goodness, he's beautiful. Just beautiful. Mm. I think, à un moment, il y avait une troisième fleur, je pense. Elle a dû partir il y a longtemps. Mais c'est magnifique. 
Well, we're seeing his sandals for the first time. We've never been able to look down at the statue. Goodness, it's just beautiful. Look at that lovely face. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> and now they're going to be able to work on that keystone. I'll leave them to get on and pop back tomorrow. Because of our unique uh, differences in food allergies, <laughs> we've got three different pastas. So we've got Philip friendly, non dairy, and non cheese, mushroom, creamy pasta with spinach. And then we've got a uh, lovely pasta with creamy, delicious mushrooms. And then we're going to um, add spinach and pork. So we are and where's the third yeah that's me and honey's for two gluten for like any minute now it smells good thank you so you much you actually may not that was it oh that's interesting dinner was delicious and now warm and full of pasta Philip and I are having a little Christmas planning session. Welcome to our porcelain office, Miss Jarvis. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Jansen. Um, does this have anything to do with your porcelain uh, office? I would like to discuss the uh, table setting for 2023, Christmas 2023 with you. Oh, yes, mm. thank you. Just run through. Oh, someone else is excited. That's my assistant, <laughs> Ancelot, Miss Jarvis. Trying to destroy He's a porcelain. Preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> we can now reveal Lalande's Christmas 2023 theme, which is, of course, the chapel. <laughs> We are so excited about the chapel renovations that are happening that we've decided that all of our decorating for the Christmas table is going to be chapel based. And we've based them on some plates that we received as a gift from Gabby, the lovely volunteer who made wonderful soaps. She was here quite a while ago. She gave us some special Spode limited edition cathedral plates. And Philip has managed to find more of them. And aren't they absolutely magnificent? What? So I've, I've been 3Ds and I've been collecting them for a bit now so that we have enough. Oh for, yeah, and oh, exactly. Yeah, I've been and some of them, I found the, um, the original receipt in one of them in 1975. Yes. It was 40 pounds, I believe. Good grief. That was a vast amount. Of yeah. So it must have been about a hundred pounds nowadays money, I suppose. At least, at least. And I found some of them for five pounds on eBay. That's incredible. And all of these plates are based on monastic treasures or the cathedrals themselves. This is the St. Paul's Cathedral plate. And this is my birth year. Yes. So from 1075 to 1975, which cathedral was it? Chichester. Oh, Chichester. I'll block out the address in the unlikely event that Mrs. Wilson is still living in the same place. But there we go. £44.85 just one month before my birth. This Chichester one is gorgeous. Oh, there, there's so many. Oh, they're stunning. all beautiful. I love this one as well, especially because it's got the little windows going around. Mm. Here are some more of them. This one's Ely. This is a St. Thomas Beckett plate. That is one of my favourites. So that would be well, Canterbury Cathedral. So I love this yes, design. Yes, the quatrefoil. Exactly. Now your father loved that design. Yeah, that's too. one of his favourite designs. So gothic, patterns. you know, gothic inspired. The chap was neo gothic, mm. but you know. Yeah, I like these with the. Oh, I love this. this one with the knight on horseback. And this is the ribbon. Philip and I are going to spend the whole evening going through, deciding on everything that we need, putting it all aside, and then starting to think about what the flowers are going to be like to go with it, and of course, the tablecloth and the napkins, and will I need to embroider it in the meantime? Mm. But it's all because of the renovation of the chapel that is just filling everyone in this chateau with so much joy. Now, I've been speaking to my patrons about it a lot recently, because we have 200,000 euros to restore the chapel with. The full restoration costs 400,000 euros to finish all of the paintwork. We are doing all of the structural work and the beginning of the paintwork, and I have the 200,000 set aside, but I spoke to my patrons and we're all in agreement that whilst these wonderful builders and the paint restorers are going to be here on site, we should try, if there's any way possible, to just push on and finish it all this year. And so we've decided to start a fundraiser to do that. I know a lot of you have been asking about it. And we've come up with the idea of Adopt a Star. The chapel at Leland has the most beautiful ceiling with a deep blue background covered in golden stars. And you'll be able to adopt a star and name it after yourself or a loved one or in memory of somebody that you loved. And the plan is to have a map inside the chapel showing the name of each of the stars. And we may well put a plan online as well so that you can see your star 
online with your name. Everybody who has helped to fund the chapel will be part of its constellation. So we're working on this with Michael Potts. He is building the website in order for us to be able to do this and we will be launching it any day now. So if you're looking for the perfect Christmas gift for somebody and you want to be a little part of the chapel at Alain forever, then keep an eye out. As soon as we launch, I will let you all know and then hopefully we will be able to restore the entire chapel this year all of the paintwork as well as all of the structure and on that note i'm going to say happy advent to all of you we're going to get on with our christmas planning and i will see you of course tomorrow at a moment